Breakfast this morning is a bowl of protein oatmeal with mixed nut butter and then a this is um, almond milk mixed with instant coffee and ice cubes because I ran out of my other cold brew I was drinking. I am also having a Brazil nut for selenium. <laughs> All right, we've got a little bit of a snacky lunch today. So I just have some strawberries, some carrots and hummus, and then these barucas. They're like this nut. It's a super nut of the savanna. And these are actually pretty good. I've never even seen them or heard of them, but this company sent it to me not sponsored, but they kind of taste like a sunflower seed-ish, mixed with like an almond. That's how I could best describe them. For the other part of my snack today, I am eating one of these little nut butter bites I made. They're basically just copycat perfect bars. They're so, so good. Dinner tonight is some um, leftover chicken and I just reheated, wow! I just reheated some um, sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts that I made yesterday in my air fryer. And then some homas to dip on the side. Dessert tonight is a bowl of frozen fruit. There's a bunch of random stuff in here. It's like strawberries, cherries, blueberries, peaches, mango, pineapple, random stuff. I am having another one of my uh, perfect bar copycat thingies that I made today. And this is gonna conclude the day. Good night. All right. Went to Starbucks, got myself my reward, which is a Trenta cold brew with cream. And I split that into a couple of days, so you know, I can make it worth it. So that's what I'm having right now, bright and early. Breakfast this morning is the normal protein oatmeal. Cooked in the microwave for two minutes and then added some mixed nut butter on top. A little mid-morning snack is one of my peanut butter perfect bar thingies. All right, Kelly is staying at my house for a little bit, and so she gets to take these gut shots with me. Get your finger out of the pepper. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Snacking on a few strawberries this afternoon. This is mad. <laughs> the strawberry is the biggest strawberry I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm. I got. <laughs> I got takeout tonight, and I got pad see with chicken. It's just a Thai dish. It's really good. It's what I get every single time. And then also, a few pot stickers on the side because why not? Because pad see and pot stickers go great together. Eating some frozen fruit for dessert. <laughs> We've got the pancake station going on here. Made some pancakes. Um, Kelly also has her pancakes. We've got the worst charcuterie board of pancake toppings in the entire world. <laughs> and then we've got the toppings over here. Looking good. Here's my final product. Looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Pretty excited to eat it. Also, I almost finished my cold brew with cream left over from Starbucks yesterday. Yummy. Eating my leftover Noodles from last night and a pot sticker for lunch. Yummy in my stummy. I got an iced almond milk latte from Barista. <laughs> Kelly, what'd you get? Uh, what did I get? Chai extra hot. Chai extra hot. Very different beverages. Alrighty, dinner tonight is a filet of salmon. I haven't had salmon in so long. Whoa, it's foggy. I haven't had salmon in so long, but I love salmon. It's just so expensive, so I don't really buy it. And then I also have some um, pre-made Brussels sprouts that I made a couple days ago that I just air fried to reheat. I also air fried the salmon and just topped it with garlic, salt, and pepper. So boring, but it's really good. And then some hummus on the side <laughs> for my Brussels sprouts. Dessert tonight is another one of my little homemade perfect bars. They're so good. I eat them so fast just because they're so good. Breakfast this morning is another bowl of protein oatmeal with peanut butter. So boring. Walked to Starbucks and got myself a grande cold brew with light cream and light ice. And, and we are celebrating because today is the launch of my podcast, Combos Over Cold Brew. So you know I had to get a cold brew. The podcast is not about cold brew, but it's just basically an extension of all my other social media platforms, but in podcast form. So the link will be in the description down below. Um, you can listen on basically any app. And 
I'm gonna have a bunch of guests on. The first episode is a solo episode, kind of about finding my identity outside of running after college. Um, but then the episodes from like now on are mainly gonna be with guests that I have on, like basically my, all my friends. So go listen to that if you want. Mid morning snack is another perfect bar thing. Is this episode getting boring yet? <laughs> this is my last one of these and I'm really sad. That just means I'm gonna have to make more though. I am way too lazy to make anything for lunch. So I'm basically just having cereal. There's some puff kamut, puff millet, blueberries, some protein powder, some peanut butter powder, some um, flax seeds, some pepitas, and then a little bit of mixed nut butter on the side. And then I also, obviously there's almond milk in there. Literally just eating carrots and hummus. It's 7 p.m. and I'm waiting for my salmon to cook. But I cannot wait. I've had a ton of these. This is supposed to be part of my dinner, but I was hungry. Okay, the rest of my dinner is done. <laughs> so salmon, carrots, and hummus for dinner, yum. I just baked it in my Ninja Foodi oven at 400 for like 15 minutes. Dessert tonight is another bowl of frozen fruit. We've got banana, some frozen cherries, some frozen blueberries, and frozen pineapple. Enjoying a nice cold brew with almond milk. It was just like a cup of almond milk, two ice cubes, and I don't know, a half a tablespoon of instant coffee blended up in my Nutribullet. It's pretty good. I don't think it has that much caffeine. I never really feel the effects, but. Just made some spinach pancakes, but they look gross today because I was too lazy to make them look good. Check. With chocolate chips and almond butter. They're protein pancakes. And then I'm gonna top it with some maple syrup. Alrighty, it's around lunchtime, but I'm not super hungry, so I'm just gonna eat one of my homemade perfect bars, as per usual. Is anyone getting bored of this video yet? <laughs> I had to make another batch last night because they already ran out, but of course, I literally made it at midnight. I was like, well, I need to have these tomorrow, so I made them really quick. Super easy, super good. They literally taste like perfect bars. Okay, LMAO at this lunch. Um, it's cereal in, like a basically almost empty peanut butter jar. The jar is huge, by the way. So just a giant bowl of cereal. So I ran out of almond milk too, so hopefully there's enough in there. And now I'm out of peanut butter too, so it's a sad day. Yummy, it's the same thing as yesterday, same cereal combination. All right, I'm eating some Piazza Italia, and I'm having Bucatini alla matriciana. Bucatini alla matriciana. It's literally 1 p.m. and I'm having my first meal of the day and I'm really hungry. I had to go do some work this morning, um, taking pictures, but now I am eating some carrots and hummus and some salmon is cooking in my little oven over there. Alrighty, the main course is a filet of salmon that is weirdly lopsided. <laughs> I guess this is breakfast, lunch? This is definitely lunch, but brunch. And then for my lunch dessert today, I'm having another one of my homemade perfect bars. Wow, very crazy. Afternoon snack. Do I even have to explain myself? I don't think I do. Another peanut butter perfect bar thingy. Dinner tonight is cereal. <laughs> the same thing I've been having. Puff kamut, puff millet. Peanut butter powder, a scoop of protein, coconut milk, and blueberries, and pumpkin seeds, and some almond butter on the side. Got a little green smoothie. Green smoothie action. Starting off the day. Finishing up my cold brew. Um, I posted the video on my Instagram. Breakfast and lunch and probably snack is a burrito bowl from Chipotle. I get brown rice, black beans, chicken, fajita veggies, mild salsa, cheese wok, and lettuce. I ordered it on the app too because I was too lazy to leave my house. Happy Sunday. And for good measure, we're finishing off this what I eat in a week with some Ben & Jerry's fish food. This is top tier Ben & Jerry's chocolate ice cream. I don't even like chocolate, but this is still top tier. Chocolate ice cream with gooey marshmallow swirls, caramel swirls, and fudge fish. For those asking for me to do a Ben & Jerry's tier list, I'm not, I'm not credible enough. I don't have enough um, background in Ben & Jerry's. I haven't tried that many of the flavors. I haven't tried 
nearly enough flavors to be able to do a list, but all I know is that this is one of the top ones, so. Is this what heaven looks like? I think so. Great way to end this video. And if you want, I look ill in this lighting. Um, if you want uh, more meal inspiration, follow me on my food Instagram at one crazed foodie, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, fellas.